So we we got tonight tonight we got the the three new Dynavaps. And we spoke with George earlier in the week. And there's a lot going on in the Dynavap world. Like if you if you caught the Dyna Jam, yes. that was pretty fucking badass. I appreciate George taking the time out of his busy week with this launch and and having like a two hour sesh with us. That was that was really cool. But one of the things I, I we talked to him about was the timing. Like with this vape ban happening, like there's there's a lot happening in the industry, Jerry, with, mm-hmm. with different manufacturers shelving themselves or putting putting everything on holds until things clear. There's a it's it's murky waters, yep. and and Dynavap is uh, coming out with three updated products, like three full full pot products, and that's a, a huge stroke of of confidence. In, in today's vape atmosphere, or I'm sorry, TED, TED atmosphere. TED atmosphere, right on. And I have a clip. Let me show it. I think it's safe to say that the design of these three products is years and years in the making. Like, as you mentioned, you had to have your, your manufacturing prowess catch up to be able to actually do what you want to be, want to be able to make. But yeah. with all of this vape ban shit happening, it had to mingle with your with your timing was was there any was there any involvement was there any uh, relation you know it's it's such a funny thing because when i first heard about this I was like oh huh that solidifies it that's exactly why i've been looking to get away from the term vaporizer for years and it, it's funny because even uh relatively early in 2020 uh i know i've had discussions maybe it was even with you guys out in vegas uh, a year ago about thermal extraction instead of vaping and vaporizer yep. yeah. uh, because and i hope it doesn't sound arrogant but i just saw the problems coming right where because there's such a close association between nicotine vapes and dry herb models right yeah yep. so it seemed like what this industry really needed was a good solid definitive differentiation between the products that we're engaged with that we love and that the other members in our industry, you know, manufacture, produce, sell, distribute, and market, whatever it might be, uh, review. Let's make sure that someone that comes across any of us doesn't mistake the products that we're talking about for something that they're not. Then the government stepped in and is kind of doing our job for us. <laughs> Classic. You know, I like that too with the whole TED thing. You know, we talked about that at one point as well, as far as calling them thermal extraction devices and TEDs like that. And uh, I wasn't uh, a fan of the name at first. I'm a big fan of the concept, but it, it I think it works better than anything else. I couldn't come up with anything better. And I saw they had it on their site as well. So, uh, so far out, man, let's, um, let's get behind that and support that, man. You know what I'm saying? And try to try to join the, the flow there with the TED. I kind of like that. Totally. And I, I remember when we, we discussed that with George years ago, and I think it was in your hotel room, actually, we, we had some Dynavat bowls and, and talked about the problem with vapes or the problem with the word vape. Uh, we talked about all the, the negative social stigma a lot. And uh, I know we, we, we talked about plans to fight it versus, you know, rerouting. I've been more on the side of fighting it. Like I, I think if there's a negative social stigma or a government stigma or a government mandate ban that's blind and, and loose, like I think I'd rather fix the knowledge gap because there's a knowledge gap. There's 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 problems with with the mind and with the, the brain and with the, the way humans handle information. And I think we should fix that rather than band-aid it. But at a point where the whole fucking industry hinges on like something that's potentially beyond our control right now we got to do what we got to do right i'm willing to fully embrace the the ted thing 420 ted zone you know (laughs) i love it that's cool (laughs) man but you're right man we got all this going on and then they went ahead and dropped three all at once and uh and just you know what i mean like let's not do one at a time we're gonna go for it did you get this box by the way like this experience 2021 i thought this was the coolest thing ever that was way cool totally dug it First time I ever had three vapes, got three new vapes in, this, in one box before. <laughs> right. Right. So the thing with, with the full lineup change, I mean, not change or update, 
and and George George talked about this is in terms of like refinement, like they they they've updated their their manufacturing. They've been figuring out their manufacturing and finding new better ways to to make products and make better products. And I think the skills that they've learned and the machines that they've obtained and the talent that they've acquired and the experience that they've built up making these these products as well as the innovation of the community and and other third parties it, it really has enabled Dynavap to to make better products than they were able to make even just a year ago or two years ago and and these three products kind of showcase that like with the the feel of the products and the the tactile feedback of of all three i love that all your tips are different for each one too the tips for this you know what i mean that's awesome yeah that was another fun thing the titanium tips have just been the same for everything up until now and when we were prototyping tips for the for the omni one of the contenders had a profile like what you see on the vong now like, oh i really like that one too let's just make a different tip for the vong and we'll use it there i think people might like that because now it gives you another option it's a little chunkier but it still looks like it belongs. And you can swap the tips with the bong with the Omni and they still look good. I don't know if you guys have noticed any significant performance difference. I really like the bong tip. I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels. And I, I, <laughs> this is gonna sound weird, but it feels different than it looks. Like when I look at it and I rotate it, I see squares, but then when I feel it, I, it still feels round. Yeah, it, it definitely feels round. It's such an interesting thing. Well, in, in what I'd really encourage you and everyone to do with, with these devices is uh, examine them without your eyes. This year, by far, more than any other time, we've been able to really engage in the uh, what I like to call the tactile engineering, right? To, to, to make these devices have a look to your fingertips, like your fingertips have mm. never seen before, right? And it's, it's one of those things that I think uh, a huge percentage of us really take for granted how sensitive our sense of touch on our fingertips really truly is. Even though, you know, the skin can be a little bit thick. And I, I, I'd have to say the, the skin on my fingertips is kind of thick. But at the same time, I can touch various, very, very fine textures and I can understand them and I can navigate with my fingers without looking at things you know whether you're picking up a small little screw and trying to you know thread it in whatever it might be and so the goal this year was to take everything that i'm aware of combine it with the awesome things that jason's aware of and his amazing technical skills and talent programming the, those cnc machines and making them sing you know, the custom tooling that he has to design and create in order to achieve some of these textures that just weren't makeable with the tooling that we are aware of. So we had to make it. And what we have is we have some devices that uh, have a completely, not only new look, but a completely new feel to them. And so uh, I really encourage people to, to feel the difference in the devices that we have coming out right now. I, I think you'll find that they feel very, very different in terms of appearance, uh, handling, and even operation. I love you. He, he's right, though. They really nailed it this year with the, with the tactile and all of them. I mean, we just mentioned it on the on the M. There you go. Thank you. There's just so much artistic work, but not just to the eyes, to the hands, like he said. And 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 I love that George always thinks about that, like when the, in the dark or what if I'm not looking. You know, I want to be able to use it without having to distract myself. I think this year they nailed it with all three, especially that M right there. I, I, th I think so too. And I, I initially didn't really have much love for the M and it's, it's tough for me to say that because, you know, Dynav I love Dynavap and Dynavap's a sponsor of our show, but they, 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 they've been setting the bar for themselves, you know, like every year, every year I expect to be a little disappointed or a little bit like, ah, it's kind of similar to the last year or it's whatever. Mm -hmm. And every year George is like, you know, showing us something new and it's like, whoa. And, and this is the first time with the M where it's like, oh, okay, this is like, this is really nice. But I, I didn't, I didn't get like that, that huge wow factor, but the wow factor came from the full, the full lineup. 
you know, and, and there is wow factor in the individual lineups, like with the Vong and the Omni and even, even the M like holding it now. Uh, I think, I think it, it brings the M back to a simpler M perhaps one where the, the major innovations really did happen. Like the, the 2019, you know, where we got like the, the rocker feel and mm -hmm. that really shaped up like the, the, how you, how you feel and find the airport. But the, the textile feedback, like, or the, the texture stuff, like closer to the tip, this is simple and it's probably the simplest and also most effective. Like when mm -hmm. I feel it compared to the other ones, there's a very different feel between the airport area yep. and the grippy area. And on the 2019, it's not a very distinct mm -hmm. difference. Like you got to rock it around. Like if you're not mm -hmm. holding it in the right spot, you got to, you got to rock it around to find the rocker. But on, on this one is you, you can very, very clearly feel that, Oh, I'm up in the, the rough divot zone by the, by the tip, or this is the, the shallow divot zone, the little smooth yet grippy. I don't know how this shit works, but no, I totally agree with you, man. I want to I want to show some of this off here, actually, because uh, there really is just a ton of tactile difference. This is the first year that I can actually pick it up and feel where the the cat the carb is right there. I mean, you've got the little rocker right there opposite the carb, and this is the first time that I can actually pick it up and go, oh yeah, there I am right there. That actually works. Um, and then while, while you got it up, let's let's take a quick tour of the the M. Let's let's start at the the mouthpiece because I I didn't show any close ups here, and the mouthpiece has some little crowning things that I didn't even mention in my my video. Yeah, like you can so, you can see the the little scalloping grippies, but then there's like what six or seven? It's probably seven, isn't it, Jerry? Yeah, it's seven. <laughs> um, this uh, this I mentioned it yesterday. I call this a love song to, to the number seven. Something else I really like uh, in the actual tip. Um, all of the the tips have this bowl to them and it's amazing. What I really like about it is the captive cap works flawlessly for me now, no matter which cap or which one I use. When I got the captive cap last year, literally first time I use it, it popped right off. Those little dimples catch on the very the very bottom here. But now that they have these little ridges, it catches on every one. And so I've never had it pop off. It'll, it'll wiggle a little, but it never pops off anymore. And, and I, but, it, but you don't ever feel like it's stuck and you're not going to get it off. So I'm really excited about this. The, the hourglass here that I mentioned, that little shape. I mean, I, I usually just pick it up and, and twist it right there in that hourglass. So I, I think tactile, visibly, this is it. I really hope that they're able to, you know, kind of stick with this one for a while. Like I'd, I'd be happy to see this one last a few years and not necessarily get replaced. It's pretty dead. But uh, the Omni is my favorite of the three. So I'm, I'm excited about this thing, man. This thing is just gorgeous. I'm going to take the uh, the cap off because why bother? You want to see it like that. Here's the, here it is. And you know, the other thing that, that these guys like to do is, is make sure that when you're hanging around high and twirling it, that it's fun to look at. And the light just kind of dribbles down this thing. I love how the cuts, the light just kind of runs down each cut. Fucking dope. So anyhow, the Omni's cool as shit. Same length as the original. Look at this tip. I mean, you can't even tell where the tip ends and the and the and the body starts. It's just so goes together. Turns out it's right there. And again, a nice little fit slides right in. It doesn't have the click that my um my Vong does, but it just you know it's there when it just slides right into place. Fucking love it. Like I said, same thing up here with the same bowl, the nine uh, crown cuts here. By the way, all of these now come with an adjustable that's two settings, full and half, or about 0 0.1 and 0 0.05 grams is, is, is how the adjustables are now. None of them have that little itty dinky 0 0.025 at the tip. The the two things they did that are different with the, uh, the mouthpiece is now they've got markings on them. And you, you, if you look at these little lines, you can see that they get shorter the way I'm trolling and then bam you see the big difference there how uh, eh, that's the long one and that's the short one so as you adjust the mouthpiece to, to get your airflow right you can line it up the way you want with the marker and now you know where to go so that's pretty damn cool and then when you twist it 
See, that's going in, recessing, and now it's going to come out. Let me see if I can get you so you can see how much so I'm twisting it and it comes out. That's how you restrict the airflow and tighten it up. And then you go the other way to loosen it and open it up. And so anyhow, it's kind of nice to have the markers down here so you know what's up. And then what's really dope is when you pull out the mouthpiece, now the condenser tube has this going on and it's just fucking. The talking point is that those things somehow cool the vapor. I don't understand that maybe it does it makes sense to me that it would increase a vortex or a, or some kind of a you know a spiral going in but but it, it it's gorgeous i think it affects the uh the incoming air which might might produce something with the vapor like you got the dynavab down here beautiful man so yeah even even undressed this one looks really good the vong is my favorite man the vong is my favorite so i really like the way this thing looks the tip is my favorite now this wooden piece is no longer the piece that's in contact with your bong. This one, the new bong, since it's metal crowned on both ends, it's titanium. You don't have that problem. And the previous ones, the vapor is actually in contact with the wood. So like the, this wood isn't titanium lined. The vapor is in contact with it in the new one. This whole thing is titanium lined. It's metal. Focus is yeah. dogging you. Oh, there we go. But yeah, all metal. And it's heavy duty, dude. What I really like is that it feels like a fucking doobie. Like it feels like a, a big fat blunt. <laughs> it's like passable. It, it's it's chunky and easy to hold. You know, sometimes, it, you know, when, when you put the tip on, it's, uh, I mean, you got to really wiggle it with the O-rings. This thing is fantastic. It goes in and it snaps into place like you can actually feel it kind of go click i noticed that with the omni a lot like like the omni just snaps like it's so yeah. clicky on this one as well as the omni right this is the same bowl as the omni i believe and uh the nine cuts the m is a little different but they all have that little that catch thing but each tip this year is different and uh you know the omni and the and the vong are titanium but they're they're way different with the way the neck is is set as well as the bowl and it's pretty different now like um i was playing around with some of the weights today i think the old titanium tips were like 3.2 grams or the one i pulled out was and these were right at four so that's like uh i want to say like 20 percent bigger or heavier or something so there's considerable more mass in here the stainless steel uh, tip weighed in around six grams or six ish. So it's it's still not as heavy as the stainless steel. But for those of you that are used to uh, the way your Dynavap hits, these might hit a little differently. There's different mass, different everything. I think for the most part, uh, they all hit. I think there's subtle differences. And I think that um, Dyna Freaks will, will debate them forever. And mass market people probably wouldn't notice the difference. So if, if, if you don't have a Dynavap or you're just going to have, you know, one or two vapes, or, I wouldn't worry about performance when you're getting into tips. I would just grab one that works for, you know, the overall that you like, whether it's the Vong, Omni or M. But if you get them all, you'll probably find there's some little differences, whether one gets hotter than the other or um, I don't know. Like I said, this one, this one, I think it's a little hotter up here. But yeah, they're a little different. I was I was surprised to see how much difference in the weight because they've that that that's a real difference right there in, in the weight of the titanium tip so i think this titanium tip might perform a little differently than uh the older ones for for some of the people who are really die hard on the way these things compare man i, I would love to do a, a an in-depth comparison of, of the tips even the tips over the years mm -hmm. and how they perform but it's tough to figure out like a, an actual scientific metric to base it off of well, for me, the problem comparing uh, VAB cabs is every piece might have a little variance. Like, like if I was going to compare the new Omni to the old one, I would just compare the whole thing tip and cap to the others because of the way they did these new tips and caps. They're so unique and they go with the unit. But back in the day, if I was going to compare like the M to, um, or no, if I was going to compare like a Vong to an Omni, I would take the same tip and cap and use it for the whole thing because I just the only differences would be in the stem. Otherwise, most caps are uh, the, the the caps is where you get the most variance in, in a VAP cap, I think, and they tend to have a little 
they got personalities to them sometimes and um i'll never side by side a vap cap without using the same cap on them like uh, unless um I'm, I'm comparing caps like low temp versus this or you know the, the captive versus the old but um so i'm kind of with you that trying to determine the differences in the in the tips you'd be hard given all the other variables especially with caps here's the packaging for the omni and the uh and the vong the omni is black right here we didn't show that but this is really cool these uh the, the caps come off and then they are stands Ta -da! so your omni and your vongs are going to come with built-in stands now they're dope 75 dollar 2021 um and and i i can test that if you are out there looking for bargains and you find a 2020 for a great price snag it same for same performance i mean you're not going to notice a difference you know what i mean if you're if you just want to get something that rocks and i would say the same thing for even the the one before the 19. i told people before the 19s are great the 19 is the, a lot of people's favorites yeah performance wise 19 20 21 you find one of these cheaper for nothing snag them up snag them up all right and then next in the lineup is the vong at 120 without the Semrel thing there. There you go. Do they have middle options? I don't think they, they really have any middle options. It goes next next up to the Omni. They'll probably have some middle options on the Vong soon, but right now it's just uh, that one. And then the Omni for, what's the Omni now? 220, 230, it's up there. And there's no regular, uh, I mean, it, it's it, it's it, it's the XL length, but it's just called the Omni. Correct, There's there's no shorty on this one. And I like that. I think the Omni XL was was the one to get anyway. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Shout out again to our sponsors, Dynavap, Grinders for Life, Simrel Collection, and yes. Stash Products with the Rio. Love you guys, man. Subscribe everywhere, guys. We dig you. Thanks. Cheers.